What is up everybody? I know it's been forever since I've posted, but there's reasons for that. And uh, I actually tried to film this video at the gym this morning and uh, I kept getting interrupted by people walking through and talking to me and things. So instead of getting frustrated and all that, I just kind of like shut it down and went ahead and did my workout, <clears throat> you know, did all my little routine and everything. And then, uh, here we are back home, you know? So anyway, that being said, I have not been in the gym for at least about six months. Okay. Uh, that, um, kind of being out of my control in a way, uh, I've been focused on the business side of things and getting everything set up and going and just really hitting it hard. And then there's been, uh, you know, life situations happen and kind of some things getting in the way and, you know, uh, family things, emotional things, just uh, business stuff. Anyways, as far as my diet is concerned, um, I have implemented uh, more mushrooms into my diet lately, but I have not been on a diet plan. I have not been on any type of, uh, you know, say paleo or keto or carnivore or anything like that. I've just been kind of eating and, and doing what I want, right? Uh, not worrying about it on purpose. Uh, the fitness part of it is kind of out of my control at you know the last six months, but the diet part of it, I specifically did not eat right. Uh, I just kind of did what I want. We all do, right? I did it on purpose for the reason of uh, taking you guys on a journey with me to actually show you how to lose the body fat very quickly and and to get your body in shape okay and um, although we don't post very much of health and fitness on this channel I am going to start doing that my initial plan was to uh, create a separate channel for this stuff but I've actually had a lot of good feedback on it and a lot of people are interested in health wellness fitness all that stuff and here at Boosted Organics, we don't just grow mushrooms, okay? We, uh, we grow a lot of plants, we have a garden, you know, um, like homestead style, and uh, just basically for our food, we really don't sell uh, any of the plants. Um, I do grow wild lettuce uh, right out here. As you see, that, that's uh, a lot of my spent blocks, mushroom blocks. Uh, I have yet to till that into the uh, the front garden here, but the back garden is all raised beds and that's where we grow all of our organic uh, food. So uh, nothing is sprayed, uh, nothing is genetically modified. Everything is organic that we grow here on site. Uh, and the front garden here is just for like our medicinal plants and then the, the back raised beds are for uh, our actual food. So, um, anyways, I have decided, uh, now is the time since we're caught up on production and we're caught up in business and all that stuff. And, uh, we're ramping up, uh, production for this growing season. Um, I've decided, Hey, let's get back on a fitness routine. Let's get back on a healthy diet plan. Let's lose this body fat. Let's tone up and then let's, uh, build some muscle okay so what i've decided here is something that i used to do uh years ago uh before i moved to kentucky uh, when i lived in illinois and indiana uh this is what i did for years so i've done this several times in the past i know what i'm doing i don't claim to be an expert or to to be a bodybuilder uh my sister uh, that she lives in Louisiana. Um, she is an actual professional bodybuilder and a life coach. So, uh, I do know quite a bit and I have a lot of experience with this stuff. Um, but since I've been in business, uh, it, it hasn't really been that much a part of my life, but now that we're caught up getting back into it right now, uh, my fitness routine, what it's going to consist of is uh, our main goal uh, in this next season, these next 60 days, 
I am going to lose 20 pounds, okay, of nothing but body fat. Some of it may be water, but uh, that is the extra maybe five pounds I'm gonna lose past the 20. When I say 20 pounds, I do not mean uh, any of that will be muscle and, and none of it will be water, okay? I'm probably going to drop about 25 to 30 pounds in total and uh, a little bit of it may be contractile tissue. That may be muscle, just maybe a pound or two, okay? And I'm okay with losing a little bit because I, I'm gonna intentionally gain it back, okay, after the cut. So I, I'm well aware that some of this is gonna be muscle, okay? And I'm also well aware that some of this is going to be water weight. It's really windy out here. Sorry about the uh, the phone, guys. So, um, so I know it's, some of it's going to be water. I know it's some of it's going to be muscle. Okay, and I'm I'm good with that. But when I say 20 pounds of of body fat, I mean 20 20 pounds of body fat. I'm gonna probably lose between 25 and 30 pounds in total in the next 60 days, okay? I've done this several times and I have a procedure. Um, although, however, I am going to be implementing a, uh, a few health uh, processes uh, because I took a hair sample test and a blood sample test and I sent that off and what I got back uh, was not alarming, but it just wasn't optimal. And I was, I was expecting that. I'm a little bit heavy metal toxic, uh, and that could be just heavy metals in, in the food or, or water that we're consuming, um, or that could be attributed to parasites, all right? And, and I know this, uh, I've never done a parasite cleanse, I've never done a heavy metal detox. Okay, um, since I've been a recovered addict, uh, four years now, um, I relapsed once for a season, and uh, I've actually been completely, of all mind-altering substances, okay, uh, off the hard drugs, I've been clean four years. Of all mind-altering substances, which a lot of people do not consider to be drugs, I do, because uh, the good Lord has convicted me and, and taught me certain life lessons, and I do consider them drugs. I'm not gonna hate on or judge other people if they do them, it is whatever. You do what you wanna do, but I know what I can and what I cannot do, right? So, um, smoking weed, taking psychedelic mushrooms, drinking wine, you know, or beer, uh, you know, hard liquor, whatever. Alcohol, tobacco, um, marijuana and psychedelic mushrooms. Those four I consider mind altering substances, uh, not hard drugs. Okay, when I talk about hard drugs, what I'm talking about is heroin, meth, cocaine, ecstasy, you know, any type of psychedelic or stimulant or anything hard like that. I've been addicted to several different things in my life and, um, because of the good grace of uh, the Lord above, I've recovered from all of it. And I don't consider myself recovering, I'm recovered, okay? So uh, that's, the hard drugs have been gone out of my life for four years now. And uh, I've been growing mushrooms for four years. So ever since I got on this health kick and this fitness journey, um, that's when I started growing mushrooms. And I got really fit, really healthy, uh, started growing mushrooms and I failed for a while, but uh, Neighbor <clears throat> So for like two years uh, I Did nothing but work out and nothing but eat super clean and uh A lot of traffic today so I, I ate clean I worked out every single day for about two years 
And once I started doing business stuff and, you know, I got married, had a kid, moved to Kentucky, a lot of stuff got in the way. Anyways, um, I relapsed in the middle of all that on uh, psychedelic mushrooms, smoking weed, drinking alcohol, and tobacco. I picked back up. So tobacco being the hardest thing that I've ever put down, um, I picked a vape back up, which is still nicotine. Okay, still a drug, you're still addicted to it. Um, it's just socially acceptable and you can go down the road at a gas station and buy it. It doesn't seem like a sin. It doesn't seem like uh, it's a detriment to you or unhealthy because it's okay in society, right? So I ended up falling back into those things about eight, no, about two years ago. And uh, I did it for about six months, all of them. Um, not really getting messed up, but just using it for like mental health and clarity and this and that. And I convinced myself that uh, it was okay. And uh, the Lord told me it wasn't. So uh, one day I was, you know, reading the Bible, watching a YouTube video in the morning time, getting my spiritual uh, uh, workout on, right? And uh, I just got a word from the Lord dropped in my spirit, revelation, man that was basically the Lord saying to me, if you don't make a decision today to put this stuff down in your near future, you're not gonna walk through the door into the new season I have for you. And you're going to struggle and you're gonna fall behind and you're only going to wax worse. So I felt this in my heart and I made a decision to put it all down that day. And I put everything in a burn barrel and I set it on fire. And I prayed to the good Lord, hey, take this from me, I repent, I turn away from it, I'm never gonna turn back to it, in Jesus' name, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus, for saving me. And if you don't do things like that, whenever you get conviction, you're going to continue to struggle, okay? Now, I don't really want to get on here and preach or anything, but that's what happened to me. That's a little bit inside of uh, my past, my life, um, these things. So at that point, um, a little bit later after that period, uh, the gym shut down and I ended up getting married, having a kid, moving to Kentucky. So that's when we started the business. Okay, now it's doing pretty good. Um, we are scheduled to grow uh, between 100 and 150 pounds of uh, gourmet mushrooms every week. Uh, here in a couple weeks, it'll be above 100 pounds a week. So in my opinion, what I've seen online and out, out here in the industry, if you're not growing at least 100 pounds a week, you're probably not gonna make it in this industry as far as business, okay? Now, uh, I got on here to talk about fitness and health. And I, uh, I got on the, the fitness plan today. I, I drew it up. I made a plan for myself. And what this consists of is I'm going to lose 20 pounds of body fat and roughly about five to eight pounds of water and, you know, like maybe two pounds of muscle or something like that, you know, roughly. Uh, no exact numbers here, but this morning my dry weight was 198. I am 198 pounds and I have probably maybe 15 to 17 percent body fat. I'm not too, you can't really see, but I'm not too fluffy. Uh, you know, I'm not too fluffy. I just got maybe, you know, 15, 20 pounds of body fat that I need to cut off. And then at that point, what we're going to do is we're going to completely switch it up and we're going to start actually building muscle. So two months of a cut, four months of uh, a bulk, okay? And I'm not going to do a dirty bulk like you see a lot of people do, but I'm, I'm, I'm also not going to do a main gain. Uh, I main gained for like an entire year one time to do a bodybuilding show and then there was a, uh, a hurricane that happened and it prevented me from going to that bodybuilding show and then I moved and a bunch of stuff happened in my life. So 
anyways, uh, I never got to attend that show, never got to get on stage or anything. I kind of just uh, said the heck with it. I don't really want to be a bodybuilder. It was just a, a time in my life where I was looking really good and feeling really good. And I thought that might be an avenue uh, that I wanted to go down since my sister's in the industry and everything. But never got to do it. Uh, life happens, so it is what it is. Now, after we do this two month cut, we're gonna do a four month bulk. And I'm gonna take you guys on a journey. I'm gonna show you my my meals. Uh, I'm gonna show you guys some recipes. I'm gonna show you guys food prep and how I prep my meals uh, for the week. Uh, I'm gonna show you guys some workout routines, uh, some stretching routines, just, just everything to do with health and fitness, everything that I'm doing currently. Uh, I'm going to share with you guys and take you guys on this journey with me. So um, stay tuned for that and uh, expect more content more often and especially content based around health and fitness because in the very near future, um, once I accomplish the next six months, I'm going to accomplish this two month cut and then this four month bulk. And uh, based on all of that data, uh, I am going to offer a program. And uh, anyways, that, that's in the future. It's not, not for really talking about right now. Uh, but in the future, I do want to offer a health program, a fitness program, as well as what we already offer, which is... Um, uh, cultivation, right? So we are centered around cultivation as far as online, like coaching or mentorship. Um, I do teach people how to cultivate, uh, certain plants and mushrooms. Um, and I never claim to be an expert in that. I've just pioneered this path and I teach people to do what I do. So, uh, in all of that being said, look forward to more content and uh, hit the subscribe button, the notification bell, so you're notified about, about all the videos that I put out, all the content, you will be notified about that. You can go ahead and follow us on Facebook, Instagram, uh, TikTok. We're gonna be posting um, daily over on those platforms as well as YouTube. So expect more content from me and expect to learn a lot more about everything that it is that we do. All right, so stay tuned guys, support the channel, and I'll see you later. Peace.